Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. So I want to do a quick story with you. I'm going to have a bunch of short stories. Um, I'm behind on people sending me emails. I'm behind on getting to those things. I have just been so, so, so busy and also trying to keep my mind off of a lot of things that's happening, even though I live in an area where it is right there in my face. I'm not up in Asheville. I'm not up higher up in the mountains. So I'm not saying that. But what I am saying Things have to track into those areas by way of I-40 West. And while I'm out doing Uber Eats and while I'm doing other things, guess what's happening? I'm seeing those things. I'm seeing the helicopters. I'm seeing um, the big equipment being shipped up. I'm seeing water being shipped in. I'm seeing people with things on the back of their trailers, food, water, baby diapers, you name it, everything going up to that area. I even donated those toys already to a church that's locally here that had a huge sign up um, doing a hurricane relief and donations. So I went and got those. You'll see that video um, maybe later. I don't know. It's just a short video because I really didn't want to you know, record anything major or whatever, but just me giving those items away because I know people like to see proof that you did stuff. And that's not why you do stuff. You're supposed to do stuff just to do stuff. You know, you're supposed to give because God said to give. Um, so anyway, let's get into what's happening in Pasco County. I also will, in a different video, have updates on Hurricane Helene, what's happening with that and some other things as well. So those will all be short videos, separate videos, so it's not clustered together. And definitely, if you hit that like button, it does support the channel financially. This is how I help take care of my family. So definitely hit that like button, share out the videos, leave your comments down below. Um, I know I'm behind on getting to comments, but I heart as many as I can. I comment back to as many as I can. I'm doing three channels here. I'm just trying to provide for my family as my husband is a truck driver. Loads are not loading <laughs> like they should. Not a lot of loads. He's not getting a lot of loads out of the ports like he had been. So I don't know what's going on with that. So he's just having to search for loads, but whatever. I'm trying to hold it down and I need y'all to help me do that by hitting that like button. It does tell YouTube that I am here. I am talking to you guys. I'm not a bot and it will help push the video out into the algorithm. So I definitely do appreciate that. So let's get into this story and what is happening. I also have some videos I will be adding in here. My mouse has not been acting right. So here we go. Um, let me make sure y'all can see it. Okay, so this is Pasco official warn, officials warn residents to be ready to evacuate due to rising rivers. Um, that is so important to keep a bag ready to go. Now, our bags, I've only got two bags done. So I'm telling y'all to do something that I need to definitely get on because every individual in your home needs a go bag. As a matter of fact, I need to put one together and give it to my son because he's down on the coast. That way, if he has to evacuate, he at least has a bag that has the rations in it that he needs, some medications, some, um, you know, first aid things as well, something to get him through water, et cetera, till he can get to a safe area if he ever has to evacuate down at the coast in South Carolina. So. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So I do encourage you guys to do that. Um, I never tell you guys to do something that I'm not currently doing, have done, or about to do. Okay, so I wish, even though, hold on. As you enter, please hit that like button. So as... One community deals with historic flooding days after Hurricane Milton hit. Other neighborhoods are being urged to be prepared to evacuate as river levels are expected to rise in some areas. In the Silver Oaks community, neighbors said the flooding is unlike anything they've 
ever seen. Nothing compares to this right here for this devastation. For the devastation, says one resident. I'm pretty sure there are other people who, who will say different, but we're not going to compare devastation with devastation. People have lost lives. People have lost everything they own. And it's just more storms out there waiting to come, right? So we had, they said we had Helene come through and now Milton come through. So now it's basically a giant lake. And that's what one resident and officials were saying about this particular area that is a golf course. It is underwater and homes are still surrounded by water. Hundreds of neighborhoods, well, hundreds of neighbors had to evacuate from the community and worry it could be weeks until it's safe to return. So they're telling them to, you know, make sure you have your bag ready. Um, they can't pump out the water. They have nowhere for the water to go at this point. Unfortunately, the Silver Oaks area is a big bowl, they say. So that's the water collection point. That's how I feel about my property. I feel like I've always said that from the moment my husband wanted to get this house. I feel like it's a fishbowl. I feel like it will fill up because we sit down and you have the heels up. So I worry about that all the time. So anyway, the threat is far from over for some. Experts warn that the Willada Coochie River, I know I probably messed that up, is going to continue to rise and many residents could be at risk of a similar situation. You ain't got to be in the comments telling me, girl, you messed it up. I know I messed it up. <laughs> Will La Coochie, Will La, Will La Coochie River. Oh my gosh, I sound like I'm from Louisiana on that one. Um, some of the rivers have crested already, they said. We have some that are still cresting and going higher than they anticipated those to go. So on Monday, which is today, Florida Emergency Management Director Kevin Gutry um, touched down and met with local leaders. They say they're formulating a game plan to start getting this water moving. I don't know where they're going to move it to, though. With some rivers still rising, um, neighbors need to be prepared to evacuate, they said. Have your stuff ready to go. That's what they said in quotation marks. Don't hesitate. If you see the water's coming and go ahead, go ahead and leave and go tens of miles. You don't have to go hundreds of miles. Just go tens of miles to your friends, to a hotel. But please go somewhere. Go to a shelter. They have shelters that are open. But by all means, please heed the warnings. This water is rising. Let's share out this video here. <clears throat> I have to, well, I have some TikToks and then I have a video. So we're going to go to the video first, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, so. You guys probably remember just a few days ago, we covered as hundreds of people were rescued from this community. Take a look here. This water hasn't gone anywhere. This is actually a golf course that you're looking at. It looks more like a lake and county officials. They want people in other areas that are now at risk at flooding. They don't want them to go through the same thing this community went through. They want them to be, per be prepared to evacuate. In the Silver Oaks community, neighbors say the flooding is unlike anything they've ever seen. Nothing compares to this right here for the devastation. We had Helene come through and now uh, Milton come through. So now it's basically a, a giant lake. The golf course underwater, homes surrounded. Your house is surrounded right now. Mm -hmm. Except for the front. This community still devastated by flooding days after Hurricane Milton neighbors are out of their homes and worry it could be weeks until it's safe to return. They can't pump. They can't pump our water out because everybody else is flooded. There's nowhere for the water to go. And unfortunately, that Silver Oaks area is a big bowl. So that's a water collection point. And the threat is far from over for some. Experts warn that the Withlacoochee River is going to continue to rise in some areas for weeks. Some of the rivers have crested already. We have some that are still cresting and going higher than we anticipated. 
we were there today as Florida Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie touched down in Zephyr Hills. He's meeting with local leaders like Pasco Emergency Management Director Andrew Fossa. We're formulating a game plan to start getting this border moving. And with some rivers still rising, Fossa wants neighbors to be prepared to evacuate. Have your stuff ready to go. Don't hesitate if you see the waters coming and go ahead and leave and go tens of miles, not hundreds of miles. Friends house, hotel, we have shelters that are open. But by all means, please heed the warning. So the reason I will read an article and then show you the video, most times I don't do it all the time, is because sometimes they make you take these videos out. And so that way, if they do, I'll still have the information in here for you guys because I need you to have the information that you can use. OK, so let's go over to TikTok. Tick tock, you don't stop. Okay. We're out with the Pasco County Fire Rescue Teams who are going door to door and seeing if anybody needs help. We're in a community that's on a golf course right now, but you wouldn't be able to tell that because it looks just so underwater, like a massive lake. Now, all the people in this community have been evacuated, but they say, they're rescuing lives into the thousands. And especially after Milton, that work continues. We're out with the Pasco County Fire Rescue Teams who are going door to door. Next one. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there with the fires that you're seeing. Um, I told you briefly in a different video that they are having to deal with a lot of fires due to these lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries rather. Okay. There's some kind of combustion that's taking place when the salt water mixes with that and it's causing, whether it's uh, one of those electric bikes or it's vehicles, expensive or not, those things are catching fire and they have put out it. Well, not really put out, but are working on 200 fires so far since this whole flooding of Helene and Milton. So if you have those type of things, please make sure that you are keeping them at a distance from your home because when it combust catch fire you you could lose your whole entire home whether it's from flooding or it's from fire and that's what you're seeing here in this video so now i'll click back on it We're out with the Pasco County Fire. This is some devastation right here. And this is actually my birthday. Well, it was my birthday. And that's crazy that people are having to deal with this. So definitely prayers out to anyone having to deal with these floods. 
who may have insurance but don't have that flood insurance or well, flood insurance is not going to cover all that disaster historical flooding in low-lying areas and near rivers and lakes See if I can make it bigger. That is someone's yard that you are looking at. It is now a lake. That is unbelievable. Okay, it says she's still rising. They're calling historic flooding. Um, if this takes over power and water out, we have we will have to evacuate. So at this point, that person was still there. They still had power. I don't know the date of this. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, October 13th. So just a day ago. I can't even fathom walking outside and or going on my porch. And that is what I'm seeing. Everybody wants a lake view until they don't want a lake view. At least not like this, in my opinion. At this point, how are they going to get out? I hope they have a boat. I really do. Oh, wow. In North Fort Myers, a horrific sight in the rising waters. Oh, that was a big alligator just hurt our tire. An alligator emerging from the floodwaters, biting at this car's tires. I need y'all to know. Let me see if I can back that up. Let me see. That was a alligator just put our tire. In North Fort Myers, a horrific sight in the rising waters. Oh. Right there. Guys. This is why, <laughs> oh boy, this is why you need to heed the warnings when they say do not walk in these waters. It's not just because you might step in a, a manhole that doesn't have a cover and drown. It's because you don't know what's in this water, period. 
and you're in Florida. Now, mind you, it could be anything in the waters here in North Carolina, but you know it's gators. I have seen gators in people's houses. I, I have not seen this one before. That is insane. Could you imagine you were the one walking through that water? A gator going to be a gator at the end of the day. Be safe. Just be safe. My, my, my. Let's go to the next one. That car just stalled out. Looks like it's not moving now. Hopefully they will get out of their car and get to some, get to a safe area as soon as possible. And we've actually been seeing uh, some. Look right here. Swimming through the area. Right there. Alligators swimming through the area. I thought right my there. son listening to my producer in my ear here and they've seen some alligators passing by. So this is another reason why you don't want to get into this mess. I mean, my friend likes to call it Jurassic Florida. That car yeah. just stalled out. Yeah. 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 here and show you guys this but i'm actually really really worried right now we are only one day away from hurricane milton now this is lake monroe the scariest lake in all of florida maybe even in all the world and you guys look at the seawall right here you guys i'm right by the seawall and look how high the water is already guys the military was just here today setting up over there at the hospital but what they didn't do is put down any kind of barricades here, you guys. Why is there no barricades? Guys, the water, just like how in Hurricane Ian, it came right over here. There's people that play basketball over there. There's people that live right beyond that court and right beyond that park. There's people that live here. Okay, you guys, I'm really worried about this. Look how many people are not here at Disney Spring. Look, it's a beautiful day because all the alligators that have come in from Hurricane Milton. You guys, Hurricane Milton, you can see this is Disney Spring. And look at these murky waters now. There's hardly anybody here because we all know, all Florida natives know, that now Hurricane Milton has flooded this area. Now they've got it under control with the flooding, but what they don't have under control is they're trying to now figure out how to rake all these alligators that have probably come across now that Hurricane Milton is done. And it brought over all this water and all these alligators, and now what are we going to do? What People have been finding alligators in their homes because of Hurricane Milton. Let me explain. We see alligators are all over the place in Florida. But when something like this happens, there is always a chance that these alligators could get out and get into people's homes. And that's exactly what happened to this person. Obviously, unfortunately, their house is completely flooded. Which means that it's absolutely perfect for these Gret things. The person was just shining a torch, going through their house, and then they saw this. <laughs> Holy shit. But you don't actually find alligators like out in the wild or even in the zoo. It's very rare that you see them in your kitchen. That is genuinely so terrifying. Like, how would you even get that out? There is literally. Can you imagine opening up a door to your flooded home and there being an alligator in your home? Now, I know that there are some fake videos out here as well. So be mindful of these AI generated uh, videos showing you stuff. 
but this particular one I know is a real one and the one with the guy driving and the alligator at the tire. So I'm going to end it here. You guys um, get prepped up. These storms are more and more vicious. Um, I am going to purchase more five gallon buckets containers. I'm going to get some from hopefully Walmart for free. And then what I don't get for free, I will get from Lowe's or track supply or anywhere you can get a five gallon container that has a seal tight lid and take some of my preps and put them in there. That way, if any flooding happens here again, because my basement flooded, but thankfully the water didn't get up to the level of where my food is. But if it were, I would at least have the things that's on the bottom in containers so they can float, stay dry. I can still use them. So plan out what you're going to do. Plan out your, your escape, your evacuation. Know the route. All of those things that I'm still learning also being here because who, who would have thought, you know, we would have had a whole hurricane here that wasn't even supposed to come here. So <laughs> this weather is unpredictable, about as unpredictable as man. So who do you trust? I know who I trust. So y'all definitely hit that like button, share the video out. Hope this wasn't too long of a video, but I will see you in the next one. And turn your notifications on because I'm going to be posting more than one video a day all week long. Okay. Bye. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. So go out and be the very best you that you can be. And when you are, you, you can spread God's love. Okay. Bye.